ways off. It's getting down the way. I should have ran. If you kill a bull that's 50 inches, you, you jump in in your skivvies. <laughs> okay. Or, or we could just do whoever kills the bigger bull. The bigger bull, the smaller one has to jump in? The bigger one. The bigger one? Yeah. G the bigger bull gets the punishment. <laughs> okay, it's on. Yeah, okay, so whoever kills the biggest one jumps. You're cheating because I got a rifle. <laughs> <laughs> British Columbia, we're checking our zero. Got the new evidence by Bloodsport. sure smell it. So the bull rutted up this area and he urinated in it and the smell is just up overpowering. One of the most interesting things about moose behavior is their wallows, rut holes or, or pee holes as we like to call them. He'll paw and dig up the ground, urinates in that and then rolls in it. Then he's gonna step in it, walk off. A cow moose finds this pee hole. She puts her legs together, pees down the backs of her legs, steps in it and walks off herself. The bull, he comes by around, checks his pee hole, smells the cow has been there, and then follows her.
That was pretty cool. I heard a lot of vocalizations. Um, as Dan just said, we're pretty sure that's the young bull that the guys who were on here last night saw. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bug out of here and go to a series of meadows that we were in uh, the other day. Saw tons of big moose sign. I'm going to go over there and see if we can rattle that bull's cage a little bit. several encounters for Brandon, with no luck, Dan Picard picks up his bow and gives it a go in hopes of arrowing a rut-crazed Canadian bull moose. To start with, let's get you set up out there where you can see a little bit past these trees. I'm gonna call from here. If you hear a bull call, you have to tell me. As you can tell by the look on Dan's face, the action is about to hit a boiling point. Oh. 
you left behind? I said that was my stomach. <laughs> that was perfect timing. I, I was, you know, obviously I'm standing still. Hopefully he's gonna come closer, but. You can is. hear it crack. Yeah. You sure can, can't you? Yeah. It cracked in that far right. So after looking on the big screen, you know, it looks like obviously the entrance is stomach area somewhere, but that crack and that arrow stopping on that far side, we think we got you know, the last couple of ribs, maybe two, but at least the last rib, you know, could go a couple hundred yards, but he's going to die. It's just a matter of get him some time and go and finding him. Yeah, that's right. So, well, we'll go in this afternoon. I can follow up a set of tracks pretty good. I need you guys watching the timber, just like I said, because he's going to. If he beds down, he'll he'll hook back on that back trail. Okay. And he'll be watching his back trail. He'll be visible to it. I got it. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, I knew it. Gosh. We got him. Out. Out. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All that drama. Freaking yeah. Ah! Oh, oh Dan. I cannot tell you how freaking happy it oh. makes me. Oh, oh man. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. <laughs> Honestly. Like, I feel like an idiot for saying this, but I've been dreaming about this for 25 years, <laughs> since I was five years old. <laughs> Magic Dan pulled right into 14 yards. <laughs> that is an unbelievable moose. Can you smell it? Oh, I love it. It's such a good stink. <laughs> that is the smell of victory right there. <laughs> he didn't go anywhere, really. He really didn't. He just come up here and laid down. I just can't get over, Dan, how perfect his brows are. Three like that? Just Beautiful. matching threes? That's a big animal. I'm gonna soak this in a little bit and enjoy the moment. And uh, we'll get him out of here tonight and uh, get him hung up and taken care of. So uh, remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 